Holy crap. Did you guys hear? The Switch Pro is real. All right, so we have focused a lot on reports from various outlets, uh, you know, Bloomberg and Wall Street Journal, and obviously other rumor and leakers out there that have been talking about Switch Pro for years. I mean, literally, we've been talking about Switch Pro since 2017, probably because they were already researching it then. Uh, Nintendo always researches it. Last year, Shintura Furukawa, when asked about it, said we have no plans to release a new model Switch this year. When re-asked at the last financial uh, gathering, he just said they don't have plans to release a new model soon. Think about that for a moment. No, we're not releasing one this year. We're not releasing one soon. Big mood change year over year, and some took this as a sign that clearly Nintendo plans to release at least a new model Switch, if not a Pro that's more powerful, at least an XL model that maybe has a bigger screen, if nothing else, maybe better battery life, whatever, you know, just like, even if it's a small change. Well, we have a new report coming straight out of Japan, so we're not, we're not worrying about Bloomberg, we're not worried about Wall Street Journal or any of that, we're getting straight from Japan, who has a closer connection, uh, and this comes from Nikkei. So what happened is Nikkei... Uh, who actually recently did an interview with Shintaro Furukawa, uh, has been talking to the manufacturing partners of Nintendo and just other various companies as well. We have, a, we have a small tidbit on here on PlayStation 5. But essentially, they talked to spokespeople for these outlets, and the spokesperson kind of slipped up a little bit uh, because I'm presuming they weren't supposed to say what they said. Uh, let's get into the details. Uh, so first off, it says that, that Nintendo has plans to increase production overall for this fiscal year, which goes through March 2022, to 30 million units. That is the most Nintendo has ever made of Switch. Uh, and apparently because of this, uh, essentially Nintendo is on track to sell 110 million units by the end of this fiscal year and have it be the most successful year financially for Nintendo since 2000. 2008 which is peak years of Wii and DS so that's pretty huge that one system can hit those peak year numbers that's crazy for you know, just imagining that just blows my mind but here's where things get really interesting it says a spokesperson for one of the manufacturers for switch confirmed to Nick K that Nintendo has models for a more powerful switch in manufacturing right now now for a planned release this fiscal year however they would not comment on how many units nintendo has planned so that 30 million figure what they're saying is part of that 30 million they're making is the new model of switch so just keep that in the back of your mind now we have a manufacturer spokesperson confirming to nikkei that nintendo's making a new model switch that's wow Wow, it's one thing to have like someone from manufacturing on like the manufacturing line talking anonymously. This is a spokesperson. This is a PR person. This is someone you're supposed to talk to when you reach out to these manufacturing companies. Slipping up and saying, yeah, Nintendo has a new model, but we can't tell you how many they're making. Also of note, there's a small thing in here about Sony. We might as well talk about that because we do talk about other things besides Nintendo. Uh, they do note that Sony is planning to exceed the sales of PlayStation 4 in year two. So technically, so how it works is obviously fiscal year in Japan ended in March. So that would be the end of year one for PlayStation 5, meaning PlayStation 5 is in year two fiscally. So in the fiscal year two for PlayStation 4, they sold 14.8 million units. Sony supposedly is attempting to make hit 20 million in its year two of PlayStation 5 fiscally. So that would be a pretty massive increase. That all obviously means that, you know, Sony is a new order in for parts. Whether or not they are going to get everything they ordered, I have no idea. Uh, you know, this person is pretty confident Nintendo is going to hit their 30 million. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I, this is... So we've had... We've had sources from manufacturing before. Basically, everything Takahashi Machizuki has said and all of his articles over the years have been from manufacturing, right? People he's talked to in manufacturing. But usually he ends with, a spokesperson refused to comment. 
So they would talk to somebody who has contacts inside the manufacturing to see what's happening with Nintendo, but then when they would reach out for an official statement from Nintendo or from you know these manufacturing companies, they would just say they refused to comment or, or they chose not to comment this time. That's not true this time. This time they chose to comment and they, ba- <laughs> they, they just confirmed something that Nintendo likely didn't want confirmed. So yeah, I find this to be very fascinating that this is what happened. Uh, I... <laughs> This is not how I thought Switch Pro would be confirmed. Obviously, uh, you know, Nintendo announcing it. Now, it's clear here that they're saying the plan is that Nintendo wants to get it out this fiscal year. Whether or not they release it this fiscal year, I don't know. But what's interesting is that they confirm it's a more powerful Switch. I don't you know why they're confirming it's more powerful. They could have just said a new model of Switch. Then that leaves the door open to, okay, yeah. Nintendo, of course, is going to have another model of Switch. Look at what they did with 3DS. They had the they had the, the, the 2DS, they had the 2DS XL, the 3DS XL, plus the new 3DS. Like, obviously, there's going to be a new model of Switch at some point. That would have just left the doors open. But this is a manufacturing company saying, yeah, Nintendo's doing it. And uh, we can't tell you how many units. So. so we'll see what happens. This definitely increases my hope of Breath of the Wild 2 coming this year because I feel like Nintendo's pairing them together. There's no confirmation that's happening. It's just a gut feeling I have. They launched Switch with Breath of the Wild. Why not launch Switch Pro with Breath of the Wild 2? And don't worry. Breath of the Wild 2 is still going to be available to play on your Switch, of course. that's If you have a Switch now, a Switch Lite, don't worry. Nintendo's not going to take games away from you. At least not first-party games. You might see some third parties go, yeah, we're only going to make it for the Pro. But we'll see. We'll see. We obviously have to get a lot of Pro sales for third parties to buy in. So it might take a year. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I'll leave a link to the Nikkei article. It is very difficult to access the article. You have to sign up for an account. You have to like do some conversions. Uh, they do have a free account that you can make, but it, it's, it is a little more complicated to make. It took me almost a half hour just to get access to the article to confirm this information. So take it for what it will. You don't have to believe me. You can go check it out if you want. It just takes a little legwork. All right, folks, I'll catch you guys in the next video.